Hey Vikes, happy game day. I'm Haley. I'm Cameron, and here's your news. Hey sisters! Did you hear about Monday's schedule? No, but I heard Emery went out and got some information on it. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Monahan. He's going to talk to us about the schedule change on Monday. So why is Monday a block day instead of a Viking day? It's really unusual that we would have an assembly on a Monday, but this was brought to us by the Marines, a national group that's coming in to do this anti-bullying uh, assembly, but it's around X Games, so it's really going to be a lot of fun and the price is right they're not charging us anything normally it would be like ten thousand dollars so we changed our schedule to accommodate them this was the day that they were available and so we changed things up a bit so monday will look like a wednesday or friday schedule and then friday will be a viking day so we don't this is the first time we've done this to switch it up but we've given advance notice to everybody and we know that we can make it work and the assembly will be a lot of fun so come out and enjoy it okay so the assembly is anti-bullying that's right Okay, with X Games featured, you know, okay. so they'll do a lot of tricks and a lot of fun things and then they'll interject some ideas. Alright. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Come out and have some fun with us on Monday. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Monahan. Don't forget that Monday is a block day and not a Viking day. Uh, back to your anchor. Hopefully I'll remember that on Monday. Now here's your news. Key Club memberships need to be paid by the end of the day today. Pay the bank or pay Mr. Cromie an E3. If you're interested in Civic Engagement Club. The first meeting will be next Wednesday in E5. Meet sticks are available for a dollar in W11, N8, or room 925. They're available during passing period and seminar. Let's shoot it over to Haley with sports. In the criminal justice system, excessive hallway behavior is considered heinous. In Seaman High School, the hallway patrol is an elite squad catching the criminals in action. <laughs> It doesn't take a traffic guard to know how to walk through a hallway. Don't run. Don't stop. Walk appropriately. Make sure to attend events and give a welcoming and safe environment for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Be courteous with all and display good sportsmanship. <laughs> Keep facilities clean and follow school policies and procedures. Display school spirit. Win with character, lose with dignity. Be a Viking. Attend school events. Color Chaos is the theme for tonight's home game. The Seaman Band Boosters will be hosting a barbecue fundraiser during the Manhattan football game tonight. Spirit Club is sponsoring a spirit bus at the game at Emporia at 921. The cost is $5 and includes pizza and the entrance to the game. Let's see how the cross country is doing this season. I'm here with Aaron Hebert and Hannah Glesby, and they're going to talk to us a little bit about how the cross country season has been going so far. So, how has your season been going so far? My season's been pretty good. I PR'd at the first two meets like for the season and looking forward to getting better the rest of the season, I guess. It's been okay. The first meet wasn't as fast as I would have liked, but I'm getting there. I'm getting better, so it'll be great. <laughs> Sweet. What do you guys look forward to this season? I'm looking forward to getting to know some of our underclassmen. We've got some really good freshmen coming out this year and some of the newcomers are really nice, so. 
I'm looking forward to seeing how everybody improves throughout the whole season and how hard they'll work at practice and at the meets. Sweet. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? Um, I just think we have a really good group of girls this year, and I think we have the potential to do really well at regionals and hopefully have a good state team. I, I don't have anything. <laughs> Sweet. Come support our bikes tomorrow at Baldwin. Eight Looks like their season is, season is going well. Now over to Josh to see what the weather is going to look like for tonight's game. Happy Friday, Vikes. We are looking at pretty good weather for the football game tonight. Temperature is going to be in the upper 70s to middle 80s with clear skies and no precipitation is expected. So great weather for the football game this evening. Now, as we head into next Monday and Tuesday, there is a slight chance for thunderstorms here, but I think the better chance is going to stay off to our northeast. So don't expect a lot of rain early next week, but we'll at least have that chance Monday and Tuesday. Going back to Florence, though, it did make landfall this morning around 615 near Wilmington, North Carolina. And although it wasn't as strong as we were originally expecting, it's still bringing extreme impacts to the Carolinas. We have storm surge in excess of six feet in spots, nearly a half million people without power. And even though the winds are at 80 miles per hour, it's still causing significant amounts of rain over a foot, well over a foot, have already fallen in spots, and this rain will continue over the next couple of days, moving very slowly, just at three miles per hour. So this is just going to stall and dump a lot of rain on the Carolinas as it slowly moves inland here. Still a very large storm, so hurricane winds still covering about a 100-mile diameter with tropical storm winds much larger than that. So even though the wind isn't our biggest impact here, it is still quite significant. However, taking a look at our seven-day forecast, you can see that in the local area, we're not talking about any hurricanes. No, no, no. Just a slight storm chance Monday and Tuesday, and then perhaps a slightly better chance as we head into next Thursday. Now, I do think temperatures make the lower 90s. Now, back to your anchors. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Hope to see a colorful crowd tonight. Now we're going to leave you with a new segment called Teacher Dance Off. Have a great day.
I'm here with Aaron Hebert and Hannah Glesby, and they're going to talk to us a little bit about how the cross country season has been going so far. So, how has your season been going so far? My season's been pretty good. I PR'd at the first two meets, like for the season, and looking forward to getting better the rest of the season, I guess. It's been okay. The first meet wasn't as fast as I would have liked, but I'm getting there. I'm getting better, so it'll be great. <laughs> Sweet. What do you guys look forward to this season? I'm looking forward to getting to know some of our underclassmen. We've got some really good freshmen coming out this year, and some of the newcomers are really nice. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how everybody improves throughout the whole season and how hard they'll work at practice and at the meets. Sweet. Is there anything else you guys would like to add? Um, I just think we have a really good group of girls this year, and I think we have the potential to do really well at regionals and hopefully have a good state team. I, I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sweet. Come support our bikes tomorrow at Baldwin, 8.30.